Hey everyone, Desiree here. So in today's video, I'm going to do a little mini Hobby Lobby haul. Now things are starting to open back up here in Las Vegas. Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Joanne, were all open this week. And the stores were open, they were allowing people in, and we had not gone out shopping in so long, like, you know, for fun stuff. Uh, Kaden and I went out and we picked up a few things. Now this is a really small haul, it's nothing major, but I still wanted to share because uh, from what I'm hearing and from what I'm seeing on Instagram and YouTube, a lot of the stores are having insane sales, markdowns, deals, and all that stuff. So Hobby Lobby was having a big sale, at least the one in my area was, and a lot of stuff was 50% uh, off, but then some things were marked down even more and so I just wanted to share with you a couple of the things that I picked up so starting off you see here I have this uh, happy planner and I didn't know that it was a Hobby Lobby uh, specific one at least I didn't pay attention to that when I was in the store I just saw a huge um, end cap that had all of the well it had a big stack of happy planner stuff and all of it was on clearance and I'm pretty sure it's because they either are getting ready to make room for um, the new planners or maybe they already have the new planners in uh, I didn't really kinda look too hard because once I saw this uh, I was pretty much like oh I'm just gonna pick up one of these now you can see here that it was on clearance for $7.49 but when I got up to the register the girl told me that it was an additional 50% off of that. So I got this 12-month, uh, and this is the monthly layout, I think it's called, or, um, oh, they call it the dashboard layout, for $3.25. And the planners were all in good condition. You know, they weren't, um, you know, damaged or picked over like we usually see when a lot of the Happy Planner stuff is on clearance. Now let me take off the plastic band so we can flip through this. Now I'm sure a lot of you are already familiar with this layout, so this probably won't be anything new. And I kind of go back and forth, <coughs> excuse me, with Happy Planner stuff. Uh, I stopped using their planners for about a year just because I was getting so uh, frustrated and <laughs> just so over it uh, with the constant launches and the um, the really juvenile designs that they had. Uh, this one I really like because this is the wrong wrong, uh, as you can see, and I really like the girls. I think it's really cute, really fun. So uh, this one goes from January. 2020, right? Is that correct? Uh, yeah, January to December 2020, which is totally fine with me. I don't, I don't mind that, um, you know, we're in what May, so I probably won't use this till June. I truly don't mind that these months are already gone, because uh, I really like some of this artwork, and I will repurpose this and use it for other things. But uh, so you get the month on two pages, and then you get the uh, week on one page, and then you get the dashboard layout here. So I'm really happy, you know, for three dollars, I really can't complain. And I can definitely get a lot of use out of these dashboards. They're a lot of fun. So I'll just show you guys the dividers in case you have not seen them but yeah check out your Hobby Lobby because they had so much Happy Planner stuff uh, reduced and on clearance so there you go that's what that looks like and at the very end, you get one page of notes here in the back. So I'm really excited to use this. I'm not quite sure if I'm going to use this for goal tracking, 
or if I'm going to use it for something else. Um, especially con considering I only have like six months left to really use it. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, I might not even use it at all and I might just, you know, tear it apart for some of the artwork in it. Who knows? All right. Next, I got this cute little paper uh, paper pad. The maker is called My Mind's Eye, and this is a six by six paper pad. And I bought this because I bought a brand new ringed planner, six ring binder planner, and I wanted to do make some dashboards, or I may use this for uh, another ringed planner which I'll be showing you the setup of very soon but I also picked up this now I am really excited about this as soon as I saw it in the store I fell in love this is a rose gold agenda 52 six ring planner uh, it's a 12 month undated layout and it's absolutely beautiful and when I saw this paper I knew I had to get it for this planner. Now I was looking for the full size of this. They didn't have it, at least not at my uh, Hobby Lobby. You know what, let me cut this open so we can take a look at it. But I am really excited to make some new dashboards and to Just kind of have fun. I feel like uh, during this whole quarantine time, I kind of lost some planner inspiration. And I was feeling a little, or I should say a lot, uninspired. But now I feel like I'm starting to kind of get my planner groove back. So you can see uh, these papers are rose gold. And they kind of look more coppery to me, but I mean, I don't think it's that much of a difference. You know, you can still, it's close enough to rose gold for me anyway. So that is this paper pack. It's called Blush, and it's by uh, My Mind's Eye. Then we have the beautiful rose gold planner. Now this is so pretty, and... I'm starting to kind of get back into my ringed planners. I mean, I still love my traveler's notebooks, still love my Stology. I do love my Erin Condren, although I'm not using it, but I'm really loving the ringed planners right now just because I feel like they're a lot more versatile and they're a lot more, um, I want to say just more, like I find like I can be a lot more creative with my dashboards, you know, with these cute little pockets and stuff like that. So uh, I will be setting this up for June and then I'll show you guys how I'm going to use it, but I'm really, really excited. So let's take off the paper here. So I think I already said that these are undated inserts and they do have the rose gold foil. And these are really pretty, but I don't think I'm going to use them. But I really like these monthly layouts here. So you can see they've already got the squares, so all you do is, you know, plug in your numbers. Then you have a week on two page, and it's the horizontal layout. And then you also have a tracker and like a mood check in here. It says, I am feeling, I will make time for. So this is really, really cute. You know, I'm, it's, I'm not feeling the cactus theme, but I do really like the kind of printed layout, you know, that it's not just stark white. And I like that it has the foil too. So, oh, and I don't know if I mentioned, but this was 50% off at Hobby Lobby. So the normal price, I think, was $44. So I picked it up for uh, $22, and I didn't need a coupon or anything. That was just 
you know the price it was in the store and you get quite a bit of inserts um, you know considering and then this is December and that's the end here and then I can take this out uh, you have a back pocket here which is really nice and then it says the paper studio and then this is the back so the only thing that's kind of off about this is the gold rings considering it's a rose gold planner it would be nice if they either made this white or rose gold but I understand it's mass produced that was probably too expensive to do but um, you know it doesn't bother me that much it just looks kind of weird because this is gold and this is rose gold so uh, yeah that is that so I'm really excited to get this set up I'm definitely going to be using it for the month of June as I get back on track with my planning but that was my little mini Hobby Lobby haul so are the stores opening back up where you are? I know a lot of places were doing, <coughs> excuse me, curbside pickup. And people were ordering online and then going, you know, to Michael's or wherever to pick up their order. I didn't do that because um, a lot of the stuff that I was looking at was either out of stock or um, I just wanted to see stuff in person before I ordered it. But um, yeah, so there you go if you have any questions about anything drop them down in the comments below and if you're not subscribed please make sure you do so because I do have a lot more videos coming all right everyone thank you so much for taking the time to watch I'll definitely see you in the next video bye